Good evening, friends. My name is Adi Rahman and I am AWS Certified DevOps Engineer. Today, I am going to show you how you can install PHP 8.4 in Amazon Linux 2023. So, let's get started. <clears throat> At first, let's launch a new instance uh, from the EC2 dashboard. Give it a name, PHP 84. And then I can choose uh, Amazon Linux 2023 that is by default selected. And from T3 micro, I'm just going to choose T3 medium. Use T3 medium because below uh, T3 medium, I face some issues installing that. So for this example, try to uh, follow T3 medium. I'm going to use a key pair that I have already created previously. And I'm going to use an existing security group that is I also created previously. And then on the advanced, here I can choose an instance uh, to roll. And then let's launch the instance. So basically, we are launching a new instance uh, with uh, Amazon Linux 2023. And as you know, Amazon Linux 2023, it's based on Fedora. So previous versions of Amazon Linux was uh, sent to us. But now it's Fedora. So <laughs> the comments, it's a bit different. And also uh, the default PHP installation at this moment when, when I'm recording this video, which is February 8, 2025. So now it is the default version installed with this uh, machine image is PHP 8.1, so 8.3. So you can get PHP 8.3. But if you wanted to install PHP 8.4, at this moment, then you have to do something else, right? So the default instruction will not give you that uh, result. We have to try some different paths. So the, what is the alternative path? I've written a blog here, and you can just visit this blog. I have uh, <coughs> described what we can do. So first we'll update the uh, DNF uh, package manager, and then we will install the necessary uh, packages that will be used to build, build from the source files, right? So I'm going to build it. So we just install these um, extensions in Fedora, and then we will install the uh, this this package. After that, we will download. Uh, after that, we will download PHP eight point zero eight point four from the official source, and then extract it, and then we configure, make, and make install. Once those is done, then we can actually <coughs> create a symbolic link with. The, the path and then we can use it so let's let's follow the guide <coughs> here click on the connect button and if i refresh uh, it should be ready click here okay so um let's take root privilege so we assume and then run the commands one by one so it's pretty simple just copy these commands and run it. Okay, let's copy everything here. And then this. Okay, this run, let's paste it and this is also done that's good now what we have to do here is we need to download the php 8.4 here i am using php 8.4 but you can use some other versions as well like 8.4.3 or 8.4.1 whatever it is that's not the issue the issue is we need to download the dot pr dot z file and then we will extract it so let's go here create the screen so you are downloading uh, the PHP distribution from the official site, php.net 8.4, and then we are going to extract it. Now, when I say you need to choose T3 medium, because then it can do these things very quickly. If you choose like T3 micro or even small, it's very hard. Uh, it will take some time and I tried and sometimes it breaks. That means your memory consumptions or CPU utilization 
reaches the maximum limit and then you, you kind of like hand it. So for this example, I suggest to use D3 media or higher. The more higher instances that you choose, uh, the probability that it, it will work fine. So that's the probability. Okay, so it's still downloading. I hope uh, it will download very soon. Meanwhile, let's see uh, what we're going to do. We will extract it using this command, extract the tar.gz file, and then we will run this configure command. And then uh, we will run the make command and then sudo make install. Okay, I don't know why it's taking some time, but sometimes it takes time. So let's let's prepare our commands uh, because this command is quite big. So let's copy it in a notepad, and then uh, let's say then we can break it down here. Okay, sounds good. Um, still there. What's the issue? Mm -hmm. Maybe I can cancel it. Let's see what's happening. Let's go one more time. It will see you, and then we don't try to download them again. Okay, now it's faster. It looks like there were some maybe network issues that suddenly dropped down to the PHP 8.4.0.tar.cz file. Okay, it can be maybe different issues like the PHP.net official site has some issues. Let's assume for your case it will be very faster. Okay, it's done. So let's run the next comments. This is also, this will also take some time for extracting this, but it looks fast. Oh, it's done. Well, good. Let's uh, CD. Okay, now we are going to uh, run the config command, right? So copy this. Paste it here. Yeah, this takes time. Um, so uh, if you if you are using a lower version of EC2 instance like T3 Media, so T3 Small or Micro or Nano, you will probably uh, stuck here in some point, or it will take some quite a lot lot of time. Like, uh, but here you see it's very fast with T3 Media, right? Okay, so this is also done. Um, thanks for using PHP. Sounds good. Now let's let's clear the screen. Okay. Uh, let's run make. Yeah, this will also take time. I'm going to uh, actually pause the video now because you just don't want to get bored with this verbose text. Just going to pause it and we'll come back when then start to make comment on finished. Okay, so my make command is successful, and then let's run it. So do make install. It took around ten minutes, so you have to have some patience on that. So that's why I'm asking you to use a better CPU and RAM for the build and compile part. Once you are done, then you can just um, downgrade it because once the PHP is installed, then you can just downgrade it. Okay, now let's uh, verify. So I just need to do one more thing, is that I need to create some symbolic links, right? So that I can um, call it with just PHP. Okay, PHP plus V and get okay, PHP 8.4, right? And let's see if I can write a file. Mm. 
Yeah, it works fine. It shows up. So that's it. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends. This is the uh, one of the, uh, I think, uh, alternative ways to install PHP with PHP 8.4 in Amazon Linux. I hope in, if you wait for one or two more months, then you can install in a usual way. That means PHP 8.4 will be uh, your basic installation. Uh, method or basic version that is provided by the Amazon Linux. But if you want to try it now, then you can follow this approach. It's tested and I have used this, so it works fine. And uh, you can use in your production environment as well. So thank you everyone. Allah